salvation, that is what religion offers to us. And what does salvation mean? Not some change merely in our juridical status, but salvation means a total transformation of our whole life. Salvation is not just a single event, an isolated moment, but salvation is a process that goes on right up to the end of our life. Some little time ago, travelling in a railway train, I was asked by the person sitting opposite me, a complete stranger, are you saved? <laughs> I thought to myself, how shall I answer? If I say I am saved, isn't that overconfident? St Paul, long after his conversion on the road to Damascus, says, I am afraid lest having preached to others, I myself will fall away. So until death, we cannot speak of our salvation as a completed process. On the other hand, should I answer the stranger, no, I'm not saved, in which case he might well say, why are you going about dressed in black like that? Um, so I answered, I trust, by the grace of God, I am being saved. So I use the continuous present, not a single event, not something completed, but an ongoing journey. Mm. And the process of being saved will go on right up until my death. Indeed, many of the Greek fathers say that even in the age to come there will be progress. The journey doesn't end at death. We go on to all eternity, advancing from glory to glory. That's a view of heaven, a dynamic view, which appeals to me. Even in the age to come, says St Irenaeus, God will always have new things to teach us and we shall always have new things to learn. We shall never get to the point of saying to God, well, you are repeating yourself. We have heard it all before. <laughs> no, even in the age to come, even in heaven where we all hope to go, there will still be progress, still exploration. God will remain to all eternity a God of surprises. So that is one way in which I think of salvation. If you like, as a journey. And there will be on that journey certain decisive moments. And we may even speak of one particular moment as being the moment of our conversion. But we don't isolate that moment. We see it as part of a lifelong progress, a continuing path. We are explorers. We are on a journey. The Christian life is a way, a path that we follow. Now, we Orthodox use the word theosis, which means literally deification or divinization. It does not mean, of course, that we become God in the literal sense, additional members of the Holy Trinity. But the term theosis, deification, signifies that we are called to share in the divine life. As is said in uh, 2 Peter, the first chapter of Peter's second letter, 
we are called to be partakers of the divine nature. We become divine, not by nature in the way that God is divine, but by sharing, by participation. Theosis means then, along with salvation, a total transformation of our being. And that transformation will, of course, never be complete in this present life. But we are on a journey. And the purpose of that journey is life in Christ. And even now, even if we have only advanced a short way along the path of salvation, we do enjoy fellowship in Christ, though it may be still very incomplete for almost all of us. One writer in the 15th century, in the 14th century in Byzantium, uh, St. Nicholas Cavasilas, says, God is the ultimate aim of our journey, but he is also the inn at which we stay for the night. So there is always in our life here on earth perhaps also in heaven, an experience of here and now, but also an experience of not yet, there is more.